It's a $2.6 million package paid for with Army grants that will take computing power and speed to a new level at UCF. We're always hamstrung by lab equipment. You're, you're always uh, restricted by the equipment you have available to you. So what this machine allows us to do is address much more complicated problems than we have been able to address previously. Someday this machine will be on your desktop. So the, the name of the game in the university environment is really twofold. One is to stay ahead of that curve and help influence that curve. And two is train our students to program these things. The supercomputer will be used for military simulations and by UCF researchers in fields such as math, physics, and engineering. One of those researchers, an engineering professor whose lab develops tidal and storm surge models, is Scott Hagen. There are multiple larger scale clusters that are available nationally and even internationally that we may be able to get time on and they may be able to make the calculations extremely quick. However, you may wait a week before your calculations are done. And so UCF having its own cluster that is an order, has the potential to be an order of magnitude more powerful than the one that I have in my lab, and yet still has a limited number of users is a huge benefit. The new supercomputer weighs 4,000 pounds and can transfer two gigabytes of data per second. It can store the equivalent of 40,000 music CDs or 500,000 Encyclopedia Britannicas. Additional hardware could triple that capacity by the end of the year. This is Chad Bennett for UCF Reports.